So we saw that uh, if you have a module and you want to export some functions, you use the exporter uh, module with the import function and uh, put in the export array the list of functions you would like to export. As, you, as the number of functions you would like to export grow, it, uh, sort, it's sort of a burden on, on the user in the end, uh, because especially those who import everything by default, saying just use and the name of the module, will get a growing number of functions. And by at the, at the beginning it might have been a good idea just to export everything that might ever anyone ever want to use. But later it turned out that probably it's better to allow the to, to have a set of uh, most important functions exported by default and have a separate list which is uh, a list of optional functions that can be imported by the user. So there, there are two arrays now, the export array that will have a list of functions and uh, at export ok array that has an additional list of uh, functions and the user, when the user says use and name of the module without listing any function name, then he will get all the functions that are listed in the add export array. On the other hand, he can actually specify which functions he wants to get, and that specification can come from either the export array or the export OK array. So in, the, in our case, the user can say, just use the name of the module, bcalc here, and we'll get the add function. The user can say, use the name of the module and just multiply, and then the user that that import that module that, that code will import only the mod multiply func function and not the add function. So once you decide, once you declare which functions, once you start to write names of functions that you would like to import, it means that you have to specify exactly each one of them, both from export OK and from export. So export is the list of the default functions to be imported and export OK is the, li is the list of optional functions.